Got it. Set it. Oh, nice. Ugh. I'm on again. Look at the chompers on these things, man. Southridge. It was just Southridge. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> right? Why? Right. Always when we're talking, huh? Yeah. Dump them in the cooler. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. Today, we're doing a catch and cook with Yellow Jack. I've never got skunked on Yellow Jacks. I think the least I've ever caught was like four or five. But with the cold fronts, they move in on the pilings in these channels because the, the you know the concrete from the bridge is warmer, so it warms up the water a little bit. They 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 pile up up under the bridge, and I mean, bro, literally cast after cast after cast. Once you get it going with the live shrimp, you can even switch over to artificials, jigs, and gulps and shit like that, and start smashing them. Woo! Today. I am bridge fishing down in the Keys with my buddy. I haven't seen him in a few years and he's been hitting me up. Hey, let's go fishing, let's go fishing, let's go fishing. Finally, we made time to get down here to try and catch some fish and uh, hopefully we get tight for you guys. So if you like fishing and this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. I'm salivating right now. I can't wait to catch a fish, but we got out here. It's been a cold all week here in Miami. And for us, it's in the 60s and that's cold so this front is probably going to bring in some nice fish hopefully we get onto some yellow jack or some snapper and uh and stay tight for the day but guys enjoy the episode so today i'm using a carolina rig which is basically the lead weight above a swivel so i'm just going to tie on the swivel here i was using a one ounce weight because there's current under the bridge and you want the bait to be able to sink down to sit near the bottom but we use a Carolina rig, so the weight will sit on the bottom, but we have an extended leader below the weight so the bait can drift back with the current and not just sit on the bottom in the vegetation or the coral rock. Now always make sure that you throw away your trash. Even though there's trash all over the bridges and everywhere you go, make sure you throw away your trash. Now that we got the, the swivel on, we're gonna tie on a leader. I'm using a 30 pound floral carbon leader. We're gonna hook on a size three circle hook, get baited up and catch some fish. So that's just one of the setups I was using. I had three setups, two 4,000s and one 5,000. I had one set up with just a, a ball jig so I can throw on different lures that I can alternate with shrimp lures and, and swim baits and stuff like that. And I had another one that just had a weighted jig that I could just throw live bait on. So I had three options. I was able to just leave some live bait just sitting on that Carolina rig. And then I was just alternating back and forth between artificial and live bait, just for fun to see, you know, whatever I could catch. What we got? Yellow. Yeah, little yellow. Nice. Get, 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 grab my football jigs. There it is. They're moving this way. Little yellow buddy. That's a taco. It's a taco. Got the first fish of the day. He broke ice. I gotta break some ice for myself now. All right. I lost my bait. That doesn't mean we're gonna quit. Florida fishing, baby. We are balling, baby. We are not skunked today. So I foul hooked this fish and I have no idea what it was. It looks like it might have been a juvenile or a baby parrot fish, but drop a comment below if you know what it is. I felt bad for him getting foul hooked, but he'll be a good meal for another predator fish. Little yellow tail. I don't think this is a keeper. All right, today we're using some live shrimp, some ballyhoo. I've got lures, some thumper shrimp lures and stuff. So we're just trying to see what is going to attract the bite. I want to see a really cool fish. Oh yeah. Oh sh oh. oh god. What is this? Oh shoot. Ah. Oh, I'm tangled. I don't know what I got. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm gonna need a net for this one. 
Yep, he's right here. Drop the bridge net down. Okay. Yep. Good, got him. Sheesh. That thing freaking took off on me. I had no idea what that was going to be. They're so beautiful. You know they eat these in the Bahamas, right? Yeah. I just watched the, the Bahamas and... Jamaica, maybe? Hawaii. You know, Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. Indonesia, I think, too. I just watched the whole oh, thing. That's a big one, too. Yeah, Man. There you go, bro. What a gorgeous fish. What a gorgeous fish. That's a big boy. Yeah. Look at the chompers on these things, man. Parrotfish for a reason. It's a parrotfish. You don't want to get your finger caught in there. These no. things chew up coral, and from what I hear, they contribute to the beaches. We are going to release them back into the wild. Let me wipe my hands off. Watch my rod tip here. Yep. Because I am tangled up in the line somehow. Hold, wait, 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 wait. They got me on the, this right here. You got it? Got so that. We, we do this. Drop them off the bridge. 200 foot drop. For us, it's about 30 feet. Let them go. Yep. Especially Damn hogfish, man. you never want to drop hogfish over the edge. They float back up. They float right back up and get eaten by a shark. Well, that's Basically, my. You just killed a hogfish for no reason. Yeah, and they are nice when they get big enough to eat. Yeah, they. Ooh. Whew. Well, that was my third fish of the day. It was a lot bigger than the, the first two. <laughs> A lot bigger, but uh, yeah, let's catch some uh, something that we can eat because here I'm not gonna eat that parrot fish. I'm gonna let it go. Some places they really do. That's a I don't, I don't know I don't know if it's a delicacy, but it's definitely considered a very delicious fish in some cultures, and I'm not gonna knock it because every culture is different, and we gotta respect it, you know. So now we're trying to catch some other fish. Shake that bag, baby. Shake that bag, baby. If you like this type of content, again, hit subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Oh, oh, oh nice. Oh, good hit. Nice. Saw that hit? I saw something. That camera caught your hit. Oh, yeah, buddy, yellow jack. All right, there's Boys more. Another, Another mutton. Hey. What a hit, bro. What a hit. Mutton City. <laughs> On the day, we probably caught like 10 mutton snappers. Unfortunately, they were all well below the, the limit, which is, I believe, 16 inches here in Florida. So we had to let them all go. Nice. That's what we're talking about. That yellow jack? That yellow jack. Yellow jack, baby. That's what we came here for. Sushi Maki. Said it. Oh, nice. Come on, Brian. Get on this. Come on. All right, bottom rig time. You only got like 10 shrimp left on me. All right. These are small, but I'll play them up. Yellow Jack. Get some mutton. Look at that. Alright. Oh, he broke me. But I just brought the net. Eri. Eri. Shama. Why are the mackerel hitting? Because of the big shrimp? I drop right there. That's a yellow jack, baby. Oh, there we go. I'm recording the wrong way, but I got me a yellow jack. Is it? Yeah. Corgi. Well, that's not what I wanted. It's even worse. Yeah. Today's the day of fish I don't want. You want this one? Huh? 
No, I'm asking him. I, I met him. I met him a while back when I had when I had a big haul. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Got our boy Alan down here teaching us how to catch a yellow jack. <laughs> it, this, is, this is what it looks like to be a pro. <laughs> Alan, great catch there, buddy. Good, good, good. Look at this guy. If you guys want lessons, he's here Thursday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. You can find him somewhere along Long Key. Wherever the fish are biting. <laughs> Al and the Yellow Jack Whisperer. Come on, Michael. Just jigging them little scramps. Oh, I used to catch them. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh. Hey, Brian! That's what I had to do. I just switched to freaking artificial. There we go. Good job, buddy. Yeah, we'll do. do me a favor. I need three more of those, okay? Let's go. Aren't you glad we didn't leave before we got sunburned? No. So I just set the camera back up, guys, because uh, we started getting smacked on these artificials. Ugh. Come on again. Oh yeah. Wrong kind. Oh, it's a Cravel. Yeah, Cravel. You want Jack Cravel? <laughs> so all this is, is hanging out with friends, wet in lines, enjoying life. It was literally like 60, 50 something degrees this morning when we came out here, and now we're sweating. Southridge. Oh. Always over top. Yeah. Dump them in the cooler. One last cast, we caught like five more fish. That's all we're doing. Right here, little gold tsunami. This is all bent, torn up. I'm just jigging it. You ready to go? <laughs> Eli has been ready. Been ready. And I'm dehydrated as crap. So it would be smart for me to go. Got him. Eli. And another one. All right, this is the last drop for real, because I'm tired. Yep. I think. Good catch, good catch. Let me see that artificial. Which one are you using? Got the tsunami. Nice. Little glittery, glittery gold. Nice. Pop that in the cooler. What do we get today, man? Uh, what you want to do a layout? You put it here. Yellow yak. Yellow yak. Yellow yak. Not a bad day of fishing, Eli. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. We good. I like it. Good what? to see my boy. Brian never wants to leave. Yeah. Last cast, guys. Last cast, but last cast got half of those. I switched to a small tsunami, really small little tsunami shrimp. Um, because there was current, I had to put, you know, a, a weight on the on right at the nose so I can let it drop, and I was just popping it, popping it, popping it. And Eli actually showed me an improvement on my technique because I was kind of going a little too slow with my movement because sometimes I was thinking of doing this on the bottom and he told me to do a little more of an erratic, like a pop, pop, pop. And when I did that, you started seeing these fish coming up and swirling on it. I did end up landing several more yellow jacks doing that technique. So ended up staying there all day. Had a blast, ran into Alan, who was awesome. He gave us some of his shrimp. Once we got home, it was already dark. I made Eli sit there. He got the fun job of flaying up the fish. And now I get the fun job of eating it. So I'm not really gonna cook it. Yellow Jack is really good, really good raw. All I'm gonna do is throw some wasabi. I'm actually gonna use ponzu and I'm just gonna eat it raw with some chopsticks. 
because I'm Asian. No, not because I'm Asian, just because I want to. And that's it, that's gonna be my catch and cook for the day. Simple, guys. To prepare the yellow jack, all you have to do is cut the fillets into thin slices, maybe two to three millimeters thick, and use a sharper knife than what I was using because this made this task a little difficult. Next, all you gotta do is plate it up as nice as you want, add some wasabi, and then ponzu sauce. I prefer ponzu over the soy for this particular fish just because it's my preference, but you can use soy sauce as well. I also like to add a little balsamic glaze, use it for a decoration, and it just gives it a little pop on the flavor. Yellowjack is a deliciously clean tasting fish, so you're gonna wanna savor the flavor. Well, it's time for the taste test. Let's get a little chunk of wasabi over here, smear it on the fish, and blow out my sinuses. There it is. That is phenomenal. Whew. And the wasabi is kicking. Damn. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was fun, you know, heading out, hanging out with my buddy who I haven't seen in years. We've actually known each other since like, I want to say almost like middle school, at least high school. Um, it's been so long, I don't remember. But mm, this stuff is good. But we got a lot more content coming. And uh, you don't want to miss it. You know, from the salt water to the fresh water to just just having fun. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell right now. And if you want to see more catch and cooks, let me know in the comments. But until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.